With more drones in the Philippine sky than ever before, it's important that you understand the rules to keep you and others safe. If you're using a drone or remotely piloted aircraft for business or hobbies, there are specific rules that apply to you. RPAS or Remotely Piloted Aircraft System like drones is becoming commonplace. Its application is no longer confined to the military or for warfare, as it can be used for recreational purposes such as photography and tourism. In response to this trend, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines or CAAP revised their guidelines to include non-commercial drones to ensure public safety. According to CAAP, Flying drones in the country is perfectly fine, as long as you adhere to the rules and limitations set. Here's a quick overview of the drone laws in the Philippines. 1. Only use small drones that weigh 7 kilograms or less. Drone models like Tello, Spark, DJI Mavic Mini, Mavic Air, and the like are okay. 2. Only fly during daytime and in good weather. Operating drones during the night is prohibited unless the controller has sought authorization from the agency. 3. Maintain visual line of sight. Don't fly farther than where you can see it. 4. Limit your altitude to a height of 122 meters or 400 feet maximum. You need approval from the CAAP to go higher. 5. Ensure your aircraft is at least 30 meters or around 98 feet away from other people not involved in the drone operation at all times. 6. Stay away from populated areas and restricted or controlled airspace like schools, markets, government buildings, military bases and training camps, and over Malacañang Palace. 7. Stay at least 10 kilometers or 6 miles away from airports. 8. Do not fly near emergencies, such as fire. 9. Respect others' privacy when flying your drone. You can take photos and record video as long as you follow all the rules above and respect people's privacy. Don't go into private property or record private places. 10. Large drones weighing 7 kilograms or 15 pounds or more, and drones for business use or commercial use require RPAS certificate from the CAAP. The authorization has three parts. RPAS Controller or Pilot Certificate RPAS Registration RPAS Operator Certificate To be eligible for the RPAS Controller or Pilot Certificate, you must complete a training course, pass an exam, and pass a flight demonstration. This certificate will be valid for five years. The RPAS Operator Certificate requires a letter of intent and detailed operation specifications and will be valid for three years. Persons who violate the rules face fines from 300,000 to 500,000 pesos per unauthorized flight depending on the gravity of the violation. But the CAAP chief clarified, it is not our wish to have a big number of confiscations, but rather, our goal as a regulator is to enhance awareness for the drone users and help them adhere to the standards, in order to minimize confiscations and safety risks. For any questions or clarifications leave a comment below or contact the relevant department of the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. If you like this video please give a thumbs up. And if you're new to Mark Gimba channel please consider subscribing and click the notification bell for more video updates. Thanks for watching.